Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, as you saw in the title, five types of monthly calendars. And I know that you have probably watched some videos like this and that Planning with Kay has already done a video like this. And yes, I took inspiration from her to make this video. And just like her, I'm going to do five different themes for each of the monthly calendars that I'm going to show you. And I thought of starting like a series of videos where I do bullet journal spreads, ideas and page ideas. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I'll probably do it in the future if you want. Uh, I have never done these themes before, but I wanted to explore them. So I'm going to use them to do the calendars. And if you like any of them for an actual theme for a month, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do it sometime this year, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I also wanted to apologize for my March setup video that got a copyright claim about the music I used. Uh, the music was copyright free, but some random person decided to claim the song as hers. So I had to take the song down for those six minutes. And I am so sorry about that, but I hope you liked the video anyways. Um, now, without further ado, let's jump into the actual spreads. So, the first calendar is going to be a very simple and minimal calendar with citrus as a theme. I wanted to do citrus somewhere around July or August this year, but I don't know. I think that these summer colors are really pretty and can easily turn a minimal page into something colorful and fun. So, I decided to try this theme here to see what you think about it. I'm using my Tombow Fudenosuke pen to do a simple calligraphy for the title of the month and I'm going to use my Tombow Dual Brush pens, Crayola Super Tips markers and my Staedtler markers to do the limes, lemons and oranges. I'm not putting a lot of effort and work on the drawings because I like the look of them just like that and if you wanted to do this theme I think it, that it's much easier to draw like this and I also did not worry about straight lines or perfect circles to go on with the natural theme of the drawings, so it doesn't look too perfect or planned. Another thing that I wanted to say to you is that I finally have the community tab on YouTube, for those who don't know, where I'm going to do polls and questions for you to tell me what you think about the channel and video ideas, so if you want, go check it out. For my second calendar idea, I'm going to do a leaves theme, but with stickers, which is something that I never used in my bullet journal, because I'm not a stickers fan, to be honest, uh, I prefer drawings and doodles, but I bought these leaf stickers from AliExpress in November, I'm going to link the, um, the link for the stickers in the description, and I showed them in my first stationery haul here on my channel, and I never use them, but I always thought of them as an option for me to do a theme. And I decided to try them as a theme for the calendar instead of just like doing a theme for a whole month with them. Because I don't even think that I have enough for a whole month. So I decided to try a calendar, um, just like a sneak peek to see if I like them or not. I decided to do another font for the title instead of calligraphy, so I'm doing a simple header for the title of the month with this simple font using my Crayola Super Tip marker in one of the dark green shades. The Crayola Super Tip markers don't have numbers or names, so you, I kinda don't know what color it is. Um, so I apologize for that, but it's one of the greens, I don't know which one it is. And I'm going to do a medium size calendar that has a two dots per two dots box for each day. I use this calendar a lot in my bullet journal for the past year, and it has been always one of my go-to calendars because it's a good size calendar for me, and I just do a dot with the color corresponding to my key instead of writing the actual appointment or event on the calendar. For that, I have a box below it to write what does that dot correspond to. Now, for the stickers, I cut them in advance, obviously to fit the place where I want them to go. 
in the bullet journal and the only thing that I don't like in these stickers is the white border around the leaves and the plants. It contrasts with the yellowy color of the notebook and you know I, I don't mind that but yeah it's something to keep in mind if I'll use them as a theme for my bullet journal in the future. My next calendar idea I used in November 2018, but I didn't use it as a calendar. I used it as a, a gratitude log and it didn't work out for me like that. But I see a lot of people doing this spread as an actual calendar where you have a line for each day to write your events and appointments. And it's a different way of doing a calendar instead of doing the calendar with squares, like a month, a month overview, it's lines and it's like vertical instead of the, the squares. And I really like this layout because you have a lot of space for doodles and you want to and if you want to doodle you have a lot of space for that. And for this calendar I did a lavender theme using my tumbled wool brush pen and a zebra mild liner to do different shades of purple for the lavenders. And I didn't do like a lot of it in the calendar because it's a theme that I can explore more and try different things if I decide to do it as an actual theme for a month. And I really like the simplicity of it and the purple is really subtle, so I really enjoy it. For the title, I did a faux calligraphy and I painted the insides with the same purple. And to finish up the page, I just did some lavenders connecting the ends of the word. For the fourth calendar, I decided to not have an actual theme, but to do an entire calendar, an entire spread, with only one pen, with one single color. And I had to think about a color that I don't use that much, um, instead of doing just like blue or green or pink that I use a lot in my spreads. And I came across the color red, because I only use red, I think, in my December 2018 when I did Stranger Things. And I only use that color for this calendar. And it has that minimal feeling to it because it's super simple, but it's not the normal black minimal. It has some color, you know, it's red in this case. And I think that doing an entire theme with only one color uh, instead of a whole theme, uh, it will be a good challenge to do to just change things a little bit and not to do doodles on an actual theme for a month. So I did the title using this type of block letters, like really simple, and for the actual calendar I did the horizontal calendar spread where you have the days horizontally and you write the appointments or at the top or at the bottom of the calendar. And for decoration I added more stripes in the corners to just wrap everything together and to add some life so the calendar wasn't just there by itself. In this last monthly calendar idea, I did a couple of mistakes, but I liked how it turned out in the end, even though it didn't turn out as great as I planned. I decided to try a space theme with purples and blues and planets and stars, and I started by doing the title with different shades of purple and blue, kind of like a number effect, and those colors are going to be my color palette for the theme of this calendar. I'm going to use them for the headers of the days in the calendar, going from this fuchsia color to purple to dark blue to this sea blue and to sky blue, like a number effect. Um, these are going to be the colors to the planets too. The calendar itself, it has been one of my favorites lately. I used it in my February setup and in my March setup and I've been loving the big open boxes with a lot of space to write my appointments and events in the calendar. This theme was really fun to do but I think that I could have done better if I had thought of the theme itself better in advance but this was just an experiment so I'm glad that I did it 
how I did because in the future I can do it differently and better but basically my problem was on the planets that you're going to see in a bit to be honest they look like a 12 year old did it because they don't look good in my opinion and I think planets look better when they are painted with watercolors or like Copic markers instead of pens but it is what it is and to finalize the calendar I used some yellow to do the stars and the moons along the page and the color palette from before to draw the planets and I finish everything by outlining the drawings with the fine liner and doing a to-do list for the month in a box to the side. If you're curious, I'm doing these calendar ideas on my bullet journal and not on other journals because the only other journal that I have is a Muji one and it's a ring notebook that I don't like to do two page spreads on so I decided to do them in my own bullet journal. Um, I don't know if if I continue with this series I'm going to do the pages in my own bullet journal or if I should buy a notebook like a Leuchtturm or something to do the series or the other page ideas instead of doing in my own bullet journal. I don't know, I think I need to think about that. Um, also, if you want me to do other videos like this, uh, like a habit tracker ideas or something similar, please let me know in the comments.